All right, welcome to another class today. We have this simple challenge. It's in ratio format. Okay, the question says solve two to the power of two X raised to power two ratio two to the power of X equal to eight ratio one. What then will be the value or values of X that to satisfy this equation? So, Without much introduction, again, because here we want to preserve time, these are a simple uh, algebra that with your two eye closed, you can solve. All right, so we take our solution. All right, the question is 2 to the power of 2 on x to the power of 2 ratio. Your 2 to the power of x equal to 8 ratio 1. All you just need to do here is just to rewrite the ratio. Ratio simply means division. Okay, so this will now give us 2 to the power of 2x squared all over 2, okay, raised to the power of x equal to 8 all over 1. Easy. Of course, 8 all over 1 is the same thing as 8, so this is equal to 8. We succumb to the law of division of indices. We say that if you have your a to the power of x all over a to the power of y, this is equal to a to the power of x minus y. Why? Because the bases are the same, and here we have a division sign. So the bases here are the same, and we have a division sign. So we can flip this over and subtract from the exponent here. So this will now give us 2 to the power of 2x to the power of 2 minus x equal to 8 can be expressed as 2 to the power of 3. So we have 2 to the power of 3. Easy. So the bases are the same. We can equate the exponent. So this goes with this. So we now have 2 to the power of, sorry, 2x to the power of 2 minus x equal to 3. So quickly move this to the left hand side. So this will now give us 2x to the power of 2 minus x minus your 3 equal to 0. So let's continue on this side. So what kind of expression is this? This is a quadratic equation. So let's solve quadratically. So yeah, let's bring that the question again. So square minus x minus uh, 3, right? Okay, so this is equals to 0. How do we get two numbers where we we'll multiply together to give us minus is add together to give us minus 1? The reason why we are having minus is because the coefficient of x squared is not unity. So we have 2 here, so it's going to give us 2 times 3 to give us minus 6. Okay, so if we have minus is the factors are one, two, three. So we're going to have here two and three, and that will give us minus three plus two. Okay, so from here we can write this as your two x to the power of two minus your three x plus your two x minus three equal to zero. So we can now put this in bracket. Put this in bracket, bracket this, bracket this. What's come out of this? It's just x, so we have x into 2x minus 3, bracket. What's come out here is just 1, so bracket, your 2x minus 3 equal to 0. So from here, what we have here and what we have here are the same. So let's take this one outside and one of this. So when I have x, plus 1, close bracket, bracket, your 2x minus 3, everything equal to 0. So again, we apply the zero product rule here. Yeah. So this will give us x plus 1 equal to your 0 or your 2x minus 3 equal to 0. Send this to this will give us x is equal to minus 1 or our 2x equal to positive 3. Here we divide by 2. Here we divide by 2. Cancel, cancel that. So, can I come and say, therefore, 
our x is equal to minus 1 or 3 all over 2. Uh, like I told you, this is a very simple algebra for beginners. Anyway, all right. So this might be into this simple ratio equation. Okay. If you learn something from this video, give the video a thumbs up. Remember, this is Online Mass TV, where we love all our subscribers and viewers. Thanks for being there. Despite the simplicity of this question, you decide to stay back to watch to the end. You now see the reason why we say we love you all the time. Because you are the reason for the existence of this channel. Bye for now.